happy birthday, dear <laughs> Thank you guys so much. How are you feeling today? Uh, I'm feeling 18. Wow, wow, that's amazing. You know what we have up next? Did you get up the day? Exactly. Let's move on. Hey guys, welcome back. Hazrat Hudayfa and Hazrat Abu Dar, may Allah be pleased with them, reported. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, he used to supplicate when he went to bed at night. Bismikallahumma ahya wa amut. What does this mean? With your name, O Allah, I expire and return to life. So, before we sleep, we should all say, Bismikallahumma ahya wa amut. Thank you everyone for the birthday wishes and thank you Sami for today's zikr of the day and this zikr helps us remind us that Allah is always in control. For today's goal let's try to do 5,000. 5,000? Come on, our Ramadan youth can do definitely better than that. Let's do 6,000 instead. 6,000 it is. 6,000 it is. And let's see what, what our other Ramadan youth did for Ramadan corner. Let's go see. So basically, every day I do Quran, Oruj, or Dua, I get one of my stars and I put it in the day I did it. Bye! What nice decorations, Amina. It's a wonderful way to remind us that it is almost here. Do you guys believe that we're basically halfway done with Ramadan? Anyways, listen to Yunus uh, recite Surah as for today's Surah of the Day.
أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا هل أدلكم على تجارة توجيكم من عذاب أليم تؤمنون بالله ورسوله وتجاهدون في سبيل الله بأموالكم وأنفسكم ذلكم خير لكم إن كنتم تعلمون يغفر لكم ذنوبكم ويدخلكم جنات تجري من تحتها الأنهار تحتها الأنهار ومساكن طيبة في جنات عدن ذلك الفوز العظيم وأخرى تحبونها نصر من الله وفتح قريب وبشر المؤمنين يا أيها الذين آمنوا كونوا أنصار الله كما قال عيسى بن مريم كما قال عيسى ابن مريم للحواريين من أنصاري إلى الله قال الحواريون نحن أنصار الله فما من الطائفة من بني إسرائيل فآمنت طائفة من بني إسرائيل وكفر الطائفة فأيدنا الذين آمنوا على عدوهم فأصبحوا عدوهم فأصبحوا ظاهرين صدق الله العظيم In the name of God, the All-Merciful, the All-Compassionate. O you who believe, shall I direct you to a bargain, a deal that will save you from a painful punishment? That you believe in God and His Messenger, and strive hard in God's cause with your wealth and persons. This is what is to your own good, if you but knew it, so that He may forgive you your sins and admit you into gardens through which rivers flow and into delightful dwellings in gardens of perpetual bliss. That is the supreme triumph. And yet another blessing which you love, help from God and a near victory soon to come, which will lead to further victories. Give glad tidings to the believers. O oh, you who believe, be helpers of God's cause and messenger, even as Jesus, son of Mary, said to his disciples, Who will be my helpers on this way to God? The disciples said, We are the helpers in the cause of God. And so it happened that some of the children of Israel believed in him and his message, and others disbelieved, thus becoming two groups. So we strengthened those who believed against their enemies, and they became the uppermost. MashaAllah, Yunus, thank you so much for that incredible recitation. That was absolutely amazing. And did you guys know that Esaf means the ranks? You never know what shows up on Kahoot, so definitely keep this one in mind. Now, next up, let's all welcome Khan from California with his daily dua. for your favor 
which you have bestowed upon me and upon my parents, and to do righteousness of which you approve, and admit me by your mercy into the ranks of your righteous servants. My Lord, forgive me, and whoever enters my house a believer, and the believing men and believing women, and do not increase the wrongdoers except in destruction. O Lord, you are my Lord. None has the right to be worshipped but worshipped except you. You created me, and I'm your servant, and I abide to your covenant and promise as best I can. I take refuge in you from the evil which I have committed. I acknowledge your favor upon me, and I acknowledge my sin. So forgive me, for verily none can forgive except you. <laughs> I love our daily du'a segment because it dedicates a time for us to connect with God, with Allah personally, and you can do it from anywhere you want. Yes, that's great because today's Ramadan along the world is from Virginia, United States of America. So let's go see how people from Virginia celebrate Ramadan. Although Ramadan along the world is celebrated in so many different places, it's so heartwarming to see how we celebrate it in so many similar ways. It's really nice. I would definitely love to visit Virginia myself and see everything for myself. And you know, there's actually something else, else that I really want to see, some, see right now, and that's food. But thankfully, up next, you guys are going to love the Ramadan cuisine that we have. And let's see what Sarah and Daya made for us today. Hi 
everyone, we'll be making, me, me and my sister will be making chikifta today. Um, so these are the ingredients. You need um, fulbibar, sumak, tuz, uh, kimyon, karabibar, and isots. You'll need three and a half cups of bulgur. You will be using light bulgur, but you can also use dark bulgur. Um, however many you want walnuts. Three small or two big onions, tomato sauce, one cup of olive, olive oil, oil, lemon juice, three cloves of garlic, and three tablespoons of tomato paste, and two tablespoons of pepper paste. And we also have some lilac chisa here as well. Uh, Next we'll be showing you the steps on how to make it. The first step what you'll need to make chikafe is put in the bulgur in. You'll need another one half cup. It's a super crab thing. While you're doing that, you can put the paste in. Um, now you need to like dice the onions, so you put them in like the mixer. And you also need to put the three cloves of garlic in. So you have to make it into like it's like kind of like baby food and like watery. Now our onions are ready. Next, you start mixing it at the lowest speed. Halfway through that, you can put in. Once your paste is all mixed up, you can start adding your onions. And start mixing it again. Once the onions are all mixed up, you can add your tomato sauce. Tomato sauce is done mixing. You can add your lemon and our pizza. And then you let what? it mix for an hour. And if you feel like your chica feels like a little crusty and dry, you can add some olive oil like while it's still mixing, while the hour still isn't up. Okay, after so it's been like mixing for an hour, you can add your olive oil, your seasoning, and it's important that you add it at the very end, not the beginning. Definitely not the beginning. And then you can add walnuts and parsley to however many you want. And then after you like the shapes, the iconic cheek of the shapes, you put it on like lettuce and stuff because you know it's so spicy without it. Now our cheek gift is ready. We'll be, serv we'll be serving it on a lettuce bed. Now the cheek gift is ready. Okay, it's also. Okay, so um, while we're waiting for Ithar, we decided to make like a Ramadan corner like room. And so we have like days until Eid, 26 right now. And we have like this glow up jammy thingy with like, with like, you know, stars in the background. We also have these light up stars and we have moons and lanterns. And if you decide to stop by, we have some candy, candy. and like stickers because you know, no one's ever told for stickers. So happy.
Happy Ramadan. Oh my goodness, I love chikofte. It's a wonderful side dish and just the main course at itself. And nice Ramadan corner, guys. Definitely. You know that chikofte would go so well with some sour pomegranate molasses? Chef's kiss, it would be amazing. I'm so hungry right now. Definitely. I really want some for iftar. Maybe my mom made some, but until then, let's actually... Yeah, next up is one of my personal favorite segments, Ramadan Box, where we will answer some of the most... Uh, common and annoying questions Not about fasting. Water? Yeah, let's go see. Not even water? What do you what mean, do you mean no snacks? snacks? 30 days with no food? That's so unhealthy. Good afternoon, class. Good afternoon, Mr. Gage. Pop quiz! As a little treat before the quiz, I'm going to pass around some leftover cookies. Why didn't you eat it? I'm fasting. It's Ramadan. Oh, that's so sad. I feel really bad for you. According to the Prophet Muhammad, we Muslims give up eating, drinking, and all types of body pleasures just for Allah's sake. And for this reason, Allah will reward us personally. So Baron, you can't eat anything until the sun sets? No. Not even vegetables or little snacks? No. Not even water? <gasps> My breath smells really bad. I hope nobody notices. Oh, what am I going to do? Oh, but Prophet peace be upon him said that the breath of the fasting person is more pleasant to Allah than the scent of musk. I forgot you were fasting. I shouldn't eat in front of you. No, it's okay. Don't worry about it. We can eat it together. I won't tell anyone. No! Allah knows and sees everything. As Muslims who live in non-Muslim majority countries, we may come across similar questions and stereotypes during the month of Ramadan. But our job is to politely answer and accurately fulfill the curiosity of our non-Muslim friends. My dear brothers and sisters, Happy Ramadan, and yes, as surprising as it sounds, not even water. You never know what you're going to get with the Ramadan box. And today, as always, was a pleasant surprise. Now let's double the present surprises with... Can you make drum roll, please? Kahoot! Up next, try your best, guys. I believe in you. Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to another day of our Kahoot game. Um, we're going to be starting very shortly. Let me make this QR code bigger. You guys know how to join. You either scan the QR code or you enter the pin um, at kahoot.it. Um, and we're going to let people join in. How's everyone doing so far? It's crazy that this is day 14. It's almost halfway. I mean, it is halfway, not almost. Almost at Eid. I'm very excited for Eid. 
You guys know I like talking to you in the chat, so I'm curious, what are you guys' plans for Eid? What are you planning on doing? For me, my granddad is here, so I'm going to be spending it with him. You let me get you guys let me know in the chat what you're planning on doing. Also, let me know your favorite dessert for Eid also. I keep seeing a lot of baklava names and it just reminds me of Eid and you know, it's always great dessert for Eid. We have a lot of people joining in today. I feel like everyone every day it gets more and more which makes me very happy. You guys know that by now, you know it, but I'm still going to be reminding you that if you're in the top 10, you can get prizes. If you're in the top five, you can get gift cards starting at $25 and going down from there. And if you're in the top 10, we have surprises for me for you. We have prizes for you. So I hope you guys paid a good attention. I hope you took notes because you might be getting that prize today. You know, we're giving away every day. And we want you to get prizes. We want as many people to get prizes as possible. We love giving away those prizes. We have almost 100 people with us. Very exciting. A lot of people. A lot of competition. We have a lot of hungry names, like, I saw Rana is hungry, I saw I'm hungry. Oh, I saw that one that's like, Baba Mandom Gune. Happy birthday to your dad. <laughs> oh, I saw one that's like, I'm hangry. I can a little bit relate to that, <laughs> just a little bit. <laughs> it's okay, guys, we have almost like a left to lift our. We will be rewarded for this. I'm gonna give like one more minute for people to join in. Um, we're gonna be starting very shortly. All right. We're about to start. Don't forget, guys, if you're in the top 10, you are going to get prizes. If you're in the top five, it goes from $25 gift card with number one all the way down. We have surprise prices and pay attention. Okay, we have officially 400 people with us, even more than 400, which is amazing. So let's start our game for today. Day 14. Crazy, it's been 14 days. Let's see our first question. When did our prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, used to say the zikir of the day? When leaving the house, right after praying, right after he woke up, or when going to bed? Get your answers in. If you paid attention during the zikir of the day, you know this question. The answer is yes, it is when going to bed. We had a lot of people confuse it with right after praying, um, but it's okay. Most of you guys got it correct. This is only the first question. Okay, um, we have a case of four people tying at the bot at the top. At Arderish Wheeler, Jamie Snyder, Oluwafemi Schultz. I Definitely did not pronounce that correct. Benjamin Watson and HHD had XG. Interesting name. Our scoreboard is interesting. But congratulations to everyone. Um, following that, we have our second question of the day. What is the meaning of today's zikir of the day? A. None had the right to be worshipped except Allah. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. B. There is no power and no strength except with Allah. 
C, with your name, O Allah, I expire and return to life. And D, glory to be Allah and his, his is the praise, Allah free from imperfection. It is correct. It's C, with your name, O Allah, I expire and return to life. I'm seeing a lot of um, people thinking it was the other answer choices. It's okay. We have 156 people knowing the answer. You guys should pay attention to next secure of the day. But it's okay. Only the second question. It happens. We have OG Baklava as our leader. Following that, we have Hafsa, Sami, Kubra, and Maryam Hungry. Congratulations to my top five. Let's see our third question of the day. Which of the following was made in Ramadan cuisine? Lahmacun, mantı, mercimek köfte, or çiğ köfte? All of these sound amazing, but I know um, the Ramadan cuisine today was especially amazing. <laughs> I don't want to give it away, the answer, but let's see the answer and let me talk after that. Yes, it was çiğ köfte. I know you guys paid attention because it's food, because it's çiğ köfte. I'm just kidding. But um, I also definitely paid close attention to this one because that chick gift looked great. Health to your hands, guys. We have Hafsa as our leader. Following that, we have Adep, Ademi, and Kibra. Congratulations, guys. Let's see our next question. What word did the decoration in Ramadan Corner spell? Moon, faith, Eid, or pray? This is more of like an attention question you should you guys should have paid attention to the decorations in our ramadan corners section i know you did so get your answers in we have almost 500 people with us today competition is strong yes it's spelled eid most of you guys got this correct you guys were paying attention we have mariam hungry as our leader now congratulations mariam following that we have og baklava and adep ademi you guys are doing great. Okay, halfway into our today's cookbook game. Do you guys need to take these questions seriously if you want to win the prizes? Which surah was the surah of the day? Was it As-Saf? Was it Al-Baqarah? Was it Yasin? Or was it Al-Insan? Get your answers in. Don't forget, guys, we have almost 500 people answering. You need to be quick. You need to be thinking on your feet. Yes, it was As-Saf. You guys did amazing. So many of you guys got this correct. Who am I even talking to? You guys are amazing. I should let you guys just present this program. <laughs> but, okay. Looking at our scoreboard. Um, Mariam Hungry is our leader still. OG Baklava is our six, still on the second place. And Vehbi Chokaji now is our third place person. So, congratulations to everyone. This is our sixth question. Which toy was on the table between our great hosts, Nimet and Mert? Was it a yellow car, a blue plane, green train, or a white truck? You know, we love our hosts. And happy birthday to Matt. Let's see. Yes, it was a white truck. You guys did pay attention to that. I know you do it every single day. We have now the FB Chokaju as our leader. Following that, we have Kubra. Following, we have Pavo. Congratulations to my top three. Seventh question of the day. These questions go super quickly. You created me and I'm your servant. And I blank by your covenant and promise as best as I can. Is it abide, observe, uphold, or stand? Get your answers in, guys. Yes, let's see the answer. The answer is abide. Wow, a lot of people um, got confused with this question, but it's okay. Most of you guys got this correct. It was abide. You created me and I'm your servant and I abide by your covenant and promise as best as I can. Was the correct answer. Let's see our scoreboard. A lot can change. Don't forget. We have Vehbi Chokauja as our leader still. Congrats, Vehbi. Following that, we have Esat Al. Following, we have Yusuf R. And then Kibra and Kahu King. We have three questions left. Pay attention. Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, said, the breath of the fasting person is more pleasant to Allah than the scent of musk. Is it true or is it false? 
This was in our Ramadan box corner, which I enjoyed a lot today. It was very nice, and I related a lot. We do get those questions a lot, but this was one of the things that was said there. A CD answer. Yes, it is correct. Prophet Muhammad did say this. Um, so the next time we're feeling a little bit self-conscious about our fasting breath, let's think about this. Let's see our scoreboard. Esat is now our leader. Following that, we have Vihbi in the second place and Kubra on the third place. Congratulations, guys. Next two questions. Pay attention. This can change a lot. Be quick. In the surah of the day, what did Jesus say? Who will be my helpers on this way to God? Forgive them, for they do not know what they're doing. All things are possible with God. Or, I've told you these things so that in me you may have peace. This, is, this might be a little bit of a hard question. It was a little bit of a difficult question. I will give you this. But most of you guys got this correct. It was, who will be my helpers on this way to God? Congratulations to everyone that got it correct. Let's see our top five. Kahoot King, welcome to the leader's place position. Congratulations. Following, we have Esat on the second place now and Vehbi Chokavju on the third place. Oh, I saw one from Ramazan Pide on our fifth place. I do want Ramazan Pide also can relate to that. Let's see our last question of the day. I acknowledge your favor upon me and I blank my sin. So forgive me for verily none can blank sin except for you. Appreciate, forget, accept, excuse, acknowledge and forgive or recognize and pardon. Pay attention, but also be quick, you know. Quickness is an important part of this game. Let's see the answer. Most of you guys got this correct, but there was a little bit of a confusion there. It's okay. Um, the correct answer was, I acknowledge your favor upon me, and I acknowledge my sin. So forgive me, for verily none can forgive sin except you. I, mean, I think it's a great um, quote. I love it. Okay, today's game is over. Sadly, they go by so fast. Let's see our podium. Third place, we have Sami. Congratulations, Sami. Second place, we have Vehbi Chokavju. And on the first place, our leader for today is Esat Al. Congratulations to my top three. Don't forget, if you're in the top 10, take a screenshot, send it to us if you want nice prices. Um, hope you guys have a great iftar tonight and hope you guys have a great day. Um, I will see you guys tomorrow for our next Kahoot game. Don't forget to pay attention during our program and have fun. Congratulations to the winners. You guys did amazing once again. Top 10. Don't forget great to send job, your guys. screenshots. And guys, don't forget to share with your friends and your family. Definitely. And support us through our GoFundMe link. And I would like to mention that we reached our Zikki Counter goal today. Amazing, guys. Great job. We surpassed it by two. Amazing. Yes. Guys, thank you guys so much for the birthday wishes. But one of the best birthday gifts for me is that you guys like and subscribe. We can reach 7,000 subscribers with you guys. We believe in you. And enjoy your flights. Tune in tomorrow at 6 p.m.